Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Maria and today I'm going to be trying on the fairly newly released, it's the Natasha Denona, the mini Bieber palette and the new cream blush and highlighter that she's called the Rose Cheek Duo. So I've already got my foundation on, I've also got my concealer, I've put eyeshadow primer on and I've done my eyebrows and I've just put on a fairly light bronzer today. It's a Lumiere one. The foundation that I've got on is one that I purchased last year and I did use last summer and I really liked it. It's the Too Faced Born This Way Matte. It's the 24 hour one and I never did a video on this but I haven't put any powder on my face today. So I'll just quickly show you the foundation. Now this is a matte foundation and really is geared towards oily skin but for the warm weather here at the moment and with my oily skin I just find it lasts really well and it's fantastic that I don't need to powder it. So let's take a look at the Natasha Denona palette. This is what she's like, the normal mini one with the five shadows. One thing about this mini palette is that there is only one metallic shade. The rest of the shades are matte, so they're either cream mattes or, and I think there's one cream to powder shade. And I do have the Natasha Denona, the original 15 pan Bieber palette. I will show that to you. I love this. Those of you that watch my videos know that I just really love neutral eyeshadows. They are definitely my everyday go-to types of look. And this mini Bieber palette is supposed to be an extension of the 15 pan and to complement it as well. So the five eyeshadows in this mini palette and the Rose's Cheek Duo, the Cream Blush and the Highlighter are supposed to be all new shades. Now towards the end of last year, Natasha Denona also released two glam face palettes, one in light and one in dark, and I really love them both. And when I received these, or even when I saw the mini Bieber palette and the Rose Cheek Duo being released, I did think that it was like a deconstructed form of these glam face palettes. So I'll show you one of these. This is the light one. And these have two metallic shades and the other mattes. And I think they're cream to powder formula or cream mattes or a mixture of both. So as I said, this mini Bieber palette only has the one metallic shade. That doesn't bother me, but I know there's a lot of people that do like their shimmers and metallics. So with only being one in here might not appeal to some people, but I really like matte shades and I do like the formula of Natasha Denona mattes as well. I find that they have a lot of pigment and they also blend really beautifully too. So the shadows in this mini Bieber palette are described as nude and brown shades with a rosy undertone. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to swatch these on my arm so you can take a look. So this one here is the only metallic shade. This one here is called Bruno. It's a cream matte and it's described as a deep mahogany brown. This one is Izzy. It's a cream matte. It's a nude dusty road. This is the metallic and it is called Blaze. And it's described as a light rosy nude. Plush is a cream matte. It's a light medium dusty coral. And the last one is Wink and that's a cream to powder one. It's a medium dusty coral brown. In both the eyeshadow and the Rose's Cheek duo, I actually ordered from Natasha Denona directly because these aren't available in Sephora yet here in New Zealand. I'm not sure when they're going to be here, but hopefully fairly soon. So I'm going to take the Rafa number 15 brush and I'm going to go into the coral shade first this is the cream matte one and this is called plush a 
Now I did try these eyeshadows already. I did an Instagram story on them and I really like them. I think it is really pretty but these are my sort of shades. Definitely shades that I would wear every day. They blend really really beautifully. Then I'm going to use that same shade. I'm going to take my Rafa number no. 3 brush and I'm going to put that on my lower lash line this time. I didn't do that last time, but I will put some of the darker colours over the top as well. Then I'm going to take my Rafa number no. 2 brush and this is the shade Z. This is a cream matte shade and it's described as the Dusty Rose. And I'm just going to put that just all over my lid. I'm going to take the Sonia G. This is the Crease Pro brush. And I'm going to go into the shade Wink. And this is the cream to powder formula. And I'm just going to add a little bit to my crease just for a little bit of depth. Then I'm going to go into the shade Bruno. It's described as a deep mahogany brown. This is another matte shade. This is the Rafa number 12 brush and I just want to put that on my outer corner and up above as well and I will blend this out a bit in a minute. Then I'm going to take the Sonia G. This is the Blender Pro and I'm just going to use this just to blend out that darker shade. And then using that same shade and the refer number three, I am going to put that on my lower lash line and I'm going to use this shade also on my upper lash line as well because it's deep enough to give definition. Then I'm going to take the Sonia G Builder Pro and I'm going to go into that metallic shade. As I said, this is the only metallic shade in this palette. And I'm going to put that just from the centre, well, the inner corner through just to the centre. Then I'm going to put that metallic shade in the inner corner as well. I've wiped down my Rafa number no. 3 brush. So now I'm going to line my upper lash line using that deepest shade again. So I've now put my mascara on and this is slightly different to the look that I did on my Instagram stories, just slightly. But I think, I just love these type of shades. These blend beautifully. I think this is a really pretty palette and they look gorgeous on the lids. And I do love the Natasha Denona formula because it doesn't emphasize texture. And the lasting power with her eyeshadows are fantastic. This will stay looking like this for a good 8 to 10 hours at least. Normally when I put them on in the morning and then at night when I go to take them off for my evening skincare routine. They look just as good. They don't go patchy or move around on my oily lids. I just really love her shadows. And I really love this color story too. I think it is really, really pretty. So now let's take a look at the Rose Cheek Duo. It has got very lovely packaging, but it is very reflective. So I'll hold it up to show you the outside and hopefully you'll be able to see it. It is really, really lovely. It has got a little mirror inside and here is the blush and the highlighter. So this is described as a cream blush and these are both two new shades. The blush is described as a universal pink shade and the highlighter is described as a universal shade in light medium. So what I will do is I'll swatch the blush and the highlighter and I'll do that on the back of my hand. So here they are swatched. This is a really beautiful colour. It feels really creamy and beautiful and here is the highlighter. 
I think what I'll also do for those of you that have those Glam face palettes, I'll swatch those on my hand as well, the blush and the highlighter from those two palettes, so you can take a look at them side by side. So I didn't have enough room to swatch my hand, so I put them on my arm. This is the Rosy Cheek Duo. This is the Glam Face Palette in Light. And this is the Glam Face Palette in Dark. So this one is definitely got that rosy tone to it and the pink. And this swatches really beautifully. And these were supposed to be more powder ones. And I think I prefer the cream one. There's definitely a lot more payoff. The highlighter in the dark palette definitely has a lot more gold to it. This was described as a dark champagne, this more as a light champagne, but this one definitely has more gold in it. The two highlighters are quite similar, but I do think that the blush is different to these. These have more of that coral in them, and this is a really, really gorgeous pink. So you can apply this blush with your fingers. I'm going to use a Sonia G1. This is from the Fusion set and this one is called the Classic Base. And when I used it the other day I thought it was really really beautiful. It also builds beautifully too so I will add another layer for today's video. If I was just going to wear it just for during the day I would probably just leave it this light. I think it looks really pretty, but I just want to show you how it builds. And then for the highlighter, I'm going to put that on using my finger. It goes on beautifully. You can see how much payoff you get. So I will buff this in in a moment, just using the smooth buffer, the Sonia G1. But I think it's really beautiful. And as I said at the very start of the video, and I've got foundation on, I haven't got powder on, but the other day when I used the blush and the highlighter, I did have powder on my foundation, and whether you've got powder on or not, they apply just the same really, really beautifully. So I'm just going to take the Sony G Smooth Buffer and just go over that, but I was able to blend it out a bit just using my finger as well. And then finally we're going to put on some lipstick. This is a Natasha Denona I Need a Nude. This is in the shade Sava. And here is the final look. And I think it looks really, really pretty. These shadows blended beautifully. And I think the color story is really lovely too. I love the cream blush. It just gives a really soft look to the cheeks. And of course, my old favorite lipstick that I need a nude in Sava is really gorgeous too. And I haven't put any setting powder on my face. So at the beginning of the video, when I showed you the Too Faced, the matte foundation that I would say is really only for oily skin, you can see that my skin isn't shiny. I've had a couple of breaks while doing this video and it looks just as good as when I put it on. So it is a great foundation. But these shades are just beautiful. Now some might not like this mini Bieber palette because it only has the one metallic shade and the rest being mattes. I don't mind that. I really love matte shades as well. But there are people that do come to expect a couple of shimmers in even the small Natasha Denona palettes. And you get an even more softer look with this palette if you want to just using a couple of shades. I think these two shades just used on their own 
I think that could create a really just soft, very natural look and just look gorgeous. And maybe pop a bit of this in the upper lash line if you wanted a little bit of definition. But either way, it can be glammed up and look really beautiful with the metallic or you can tone it down if that's what you wanted to as well. I think the cream blush is lovely and I love the colour but then I do really love pink shades of blush. I think they are just really really pretty and the highlighter is gorgeous too. I think you could make it even more of a blingy look if you wanted to. I quite like the soft look but there's definitely enough there and it also blends out beautifully too and doesn't emphasize the texture that I have on my cheek area because I do have texture through here and up and through here as well. But overall, I'm really happy with the purchase. I do love it. Some people don't really go for Natasha Denona's smaller palettes like this one, but I think they are really good. I've got quite a few now and I do reach for them. They are great little palettes. And this mini Bieber palette sells for 25 US dollars and the Rose Cheek Duo sells for 19 US dollars. So I think they are a great price point for luxury eyeshadows and a good way for those people that maybe haven't tried Natasha Denona before or haven't tried many of her products. This is a great way if you think that you like the look of a color story to sort of dip your toes in and see what you think. But I think they are a great price point for the quality that you get. So my husband has just come up from the office to the house and we're going to have some lunch. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Bye.